Hello, today we're going to be talking about the Canon 5D Mark II. The Mark II is uh, one of the older Canon uh, of the 5D series. I have the Mark IV all the way up till now. One of the reasons I still use this is because the performance on this camera is still 100% outstanding and it is perfect it's great for any professional needs it's great and fantastic in low light for video and i could not have asked for a better workhorse i've had this camera for years and years and it is still holding up and uh, i've never had to take it in to get it fixed at all whatsoever One of the things I like about this is that it does hold all of the older lenses that you might have had if you came up in the Canon family. Any of those EF uh, lenses, the EOS 5D Mark II will take them so you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of other lenses and start all the way over again. The ISO range on this goes all the way up to 6400 and I say around I'm gonna say around 5,000, you might start getting a little bit of degradation out of it, but uh, there's nothing that a little light won't do. And by saying that 6,400, I'm talking a candlelight. I've seen a bunch of different videos to where it actually, they shot stuff with candlelight and the, the, the film just looks amazing. One of the things I do like about the, the Mark or the 5D series is that it, the colors don't look oversaturated to where they might be fake looking, I guess you could say, or like the purples are just too purple and popping out. And uh, that's one of the things, it looks more real, I guess you could say. Now, these cameras do take the larger CF cards, which they hold more data and uh, they're a lot bigger uh, than your regular SD cards and because of that and because this is a workhorse camera the camera is heavier I actually have a uh, dual battery grip on on this one but you can just pull those right off if you don't want it and or need it and there you go and it just pops right off and then that's just your body but with the battery grip you get that extra battery power that goes along with it and the buttons on everything actually are very much self-explanatory. They're easy. It's an uh, easy camera to use and to find everything. Uh, up here you have your wheel, which you can go from everywhere from manual all the way to full on. You just put it on and it's a point and shoot camera at that point in time. And uh, these are pretty cheap now. And just to flip it on, it you just go from off to on there's no card in here right now but you can shoot to without a card uh you, there's you can select it to that but i don't know why you would want to because you could forget that you didn't have a card and next thing you know you shot for half an hour and then there's nothing that's there if you're going to do pictures you literally just hit your button right here with a little picture of a camera and then you hit it again and it goes back to video if that's what you're going to be doing you have all of your import slots right here to where you can have a mic uh, hook it up to an HDMI cable you can do a USB cable an external flash uh, AV outlet it's very compatible with all other gear that you might be running if you are uh, in the whole film world and the pictures just look amazing now for the menu the menu looks very much I think they kind of built their uh, rebel series and TI series for their menus to pretty much all look the same or very 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 similar the only difference about this one is that the wheel is what's gonna go up and down and this little button right here you just move it it's like a toggle and then that goes left and right and so that's how you uh, go through your menu and you're able to shoot raw you're able to shoot raw plus your regular um, but when you do shoot raw plus the regular it does take up a lot of room but you're looking at 22 ish megapixel pictures speaking of what which it does have uh 21 
4.1 megapixel full frame. Oh yeah, that's the other thing is that this is a full frame camera as opposed to your crop sensors, which a lot of your Rebels and T2i series are all cropped. Uh, so you don't get that full nice square picture. You get kind of a rectangle feel out of it. And then the mirror in there is much larger than your other ones that you are probably used to or one of your smaller lighter cameras uh, it has a four image processor uh, has 3.9 feet per second continuous shooting it does have live view function for stills i don't like to use that i like to look through the eyepiece here like back in the day instead of putting your pictures right on a the screen there my eyesight still works though so that's good uh, it does shoot only all the way up to 1080p and uh, it's not a it's not a 4K camera, and you can't even go down to 2.5K. But uh, 1080 is pretty much all you need, especially if you're looking at this and you're looking to get into that professional kind of film range or camera without spending a lot of money. Then that's really, really all that you're going to be needing. Anything more than that, you're probably going to be going out and uh, renting a camera. So. This, like I said, this is the Canon 5D Mark II. They're all the way up to the four now. It actually is pretty heavy compared to the rest of them, but that means that it's built better. It works fantastic. It does have a wireless uh, file transmitter so that if you're trying to shoot something, it can get sent to your laptop or it can get sent to your iPad or tablet or whatever it is that you're using. So if you're shooting something for somebody else, they're able to automatically look at it and see what it is that you're shooting. And it's got a nine point autofocus system. It's supported by six additional invisible assist uh, automatic focus points. And it just takes absolutely beautiful pictures. I love, love, love this camera because of the, the uh, full frame sensor. I love it for the landscape photography because you get that big full landscape of everything that's out there. So I can't go wrong with the uh, 5D Mark II and uh, it's another hitter out of the park by Canon.